हेलो माय डियर ऑसम स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड मोर लर्निंग टू ऑल दिस इज मोहम्मद शादाब द मास्टर टीचर ऑफ फिजिक्स हियर इन ओडा क्लास बेटर टीचर बेटर फ्यूचर सो टुडे आई हैव वन मोर क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली टू मोर क्वेश्चन ऑफ थ्री मार्क्स ईच फॉर योर बोर्ड एग्जाम एंड आई विल टीच यू हाउ मच यू शुड राइट इन बोर्ड कॉपी और एग्जामिनेशन कॉपी और योर आंसर बुकलेट फॉर थ्री मार्क्स क्वेश्चन एंड हाउ द मार्क्स आर डिवाइडेड इन दैट पर्टिकुलर पार्ट ऑफ दैट क्वेश्चन सो गाइज लेट्स मूव ऑन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द क्वेश्चन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस सम वेरी गुड एंड इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट दैट आई एम गोइंग विल यूज इन दैट पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन the topic is resistance resistance is something in electricity which always opposes to flow the current as you can see voltage is just pushing the current and here is the resistance which is opposing the flow of that current so this is actually the resistance and mathematically what is the value of that resistance and how you can calculate so here you can see if there is a conductor the conductor having a resistivity rho this is a property of a conductor this is a property of a material and it is independent of just to take care of this and note it down that resistivity is independent of size and shape of any particular given conductor here l is the length and cross sectional area this is the cross sectional area as you can see this is the cross sectional area and denoted by capital a so the formula for the resistance is rho l by a means resistance is directly proportional to the length of the conductor and inversely proportional to its cross sectional area so this thing you have to notice you have to remember and rho is the resistivity this is the property of a material and it is independent of size and shape okay <coughs> and next is ohm's law what is the ohm's law as you know that v is equal to ir the statement you can say according to the ohm's law if the chemical and physical properties of a conductor remains unchanged or remains constant then <coughs> the potential difference across the two points of a conductor is directly proportional to the current and if you remove the sign of proportionality then it will be v is equal to i r so the r is the resistance and this is the formula and here you can see there is the voltage v which is just pushing the current this is the current i and you can see here this is the resistance which is opposing which is opposing the flow of that current so this is all about the ohm's law and let's apply that particular formula in question here you can see the question the question is of three marks okay and that three mark will distribute in different parts so what is the question let's check it out electric lamp of resistance 20 ohm you can see here 20 ohm and that electric resistance is given here the diagram is here and a conductor of a resistance 4 ohm so this is the conductor having a resistance of 4 ohm are connected to a 6 volt battery as you can see here so 6 volt battery is here as shown in circuit and now you have to calculate the total resistance of the circuit is first part second part is the current through the circuit and also we have two other part that will be on next slide so first we have to solve this so first part the total resistance of the circuit so the a part that you can solve very easily because there is no resistance you can see you can see only the lamp has 20 ohm resistance and then another conductor also has 4 ohm resistance and they are connected in series combination so equivalent resistance of the circuit that you can say in series combination r is equal to r1 plus r2 so you can say 20 plus 4 is equal to 24 ohm so this is the answer of first part now the second part as you can say b part as you can see here the current through the circuit so how will you find the answer of b part this is for the current and how you find by the ohms law because you know the equivalent resistance 
and the potential difference applied as by the battery this is known as 6 volt as you can see in the diagram itself so you can apply the ohm's law v is equal to i r so from here you can say i is equal to v divided by r right and what we have as a v is equal to 6 and now r r is the total resistance or the equivalent resistance of that circuit as you can see this is 24 so you can say current i is equal to 1 by 4 ampere or when you solve you will get 0 0.25 ampere so this is the answer of part a and part b so let's see what is the next part Oh, we have more parts and the C part, the potential difference across the electrical lamp. So, as you know, this is the positive terminal. So, current will be there. So, this current will go like this. Then this is the flow of current. Current is I and we know that I is equal to in first part or A part. We have already calculated. This is 0 0.25 ampere, right? First thing electric lamp so c first part of c potential difference so again v is equal to i r v let's say lamp so it is v l correct is equal to i that is 0 0.25 you can say and r is given that R of electric lamp is equal to 20, then you can say voltage across the lamp is equal to, yes, 5 volt, correct? Now you can see the second part is the conductor. So the second part of the same part, conductor. So conductor, this one. Again, conductor VC is equal to again I into R. I we have 0 0.25, then what about R? R about the conductor. So R of the conductor you can say is 4. So when you solve, you will get 1 volt. Correct? So you are applying 6 volt here and that 6 volt is distributed in these two conductors and lamp and here in conductor 1 volt here across the lamp this is 5 volt. Now another part D. D is a simple part power of the lamp right so how can we find the power we have the formula for the power power p is equal to v i and we have v we have i so d part i am going to calculate here formula that i am going to use is equal to v into i so p across lamp right so voltage across lamp then current across lamp so what you have the voltage across the lamp as you can see here this is 5 volt into and current this is 0 0.25 right or you can say 1 by 4 when you solve this then you will get easily power across the lamp is equal to 1.25 watt. Okay, so this will be the answer of D part. This will be the answer of first and second part. So this is a complete question. When you solve the complete question, then you will get three marks. Okay, 1.5 marks for the first part. Then 1.5 mark for this and this. So this is the question of three marks from previous year question. So to get complete three marks, you have to solve the complete question. Okay, so let's see one more question for three marks. So another question that you can see here is also a very easy question. And this question has two parts as you can see here. And two second part is again divided in part A and part B. So guys, this is for one mark and this is for one mark and this is for one mark. So total mark, it contains three. Correct? So let's see what is the question. First question, consider a conductor, right, having resistance R, length L, thickness D and resistivity is given as rho. Now this conductor is cut into four equal parts, right, four equal parts. What will be the new resistivity of each of these parts? So guys, 
the answer for first part is quite obvious as i told you rho resistivity that is denoted by rho here is the property of the material so when we cut that property of the material will not change because the material remains same if the material remains same so obviously whether will you cut it in two parts three part four part or six part each part have the same material so that the resistivity of the each part will be same okay so the first part answer of the first part is the resistivity of each and every part will be rho now what will happen with the resistance for this you can check find the resistance of all these parts and are connected in parallel and if they connected in series so let's solve second part okay first we solved then second part as i told you r is equal to rho l by a so now when you cut then rho will not change and cross sectional area or the thickness a will not change at all only the thing will change the quantity will change is the length and as you can see from the formula that it is directly proportional to the length when you cut in in four equal part so each part has length obviously l by 4 right for the each part if the length will be l by 4 so from this formula you can see that obviously the resistance of each part will be r by 4 right so now you can say each part has a resistance r by 4 correct now we have four parts having resistance r by 4 r by 4 r by 4 and r by 4 now a part if they are connected in parallel so as you know if connected in parallel then the formula for 1 upon r parallel is equal to 1 upon r1 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r1 four time so what we have 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r1 right so when you connect all then you will solve it and you will get rp is equal to r1 by 4 what is the r1 r1 is the resistance of one part and as you can see here one part has a resistance r by 4 and we are assuming this resistance as r1 now you will get r parallel would be r1 and r1 that you have r by 4 when we put r by 4 here when we'll get r by 16 so the answer of first part is r by 16 and then b part when we connect in series so series let's solve you know the formula for the series combination is equal to r1 plus r1 plus r1 plus r1 four times right because we have four resistance each part has a resistance r1 and there are four parts so series formula r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 so we will solve it like this then you will get r series combination 4 r1 then we have 4 r1 is equal to what r by 4 then it will be r by 4 4 will cancel out then what will have the second part answer in series combination is same as r right so when you solve these all part then you will get almost complete three marks right so for that you must know about series combination formula parallel combination formula so guys this is all for today and if you like the video please stay connected with oda class better teacher better future and guys don't forget to subscribe and like this video all the best for your exams